Yo guys, what's up? So far we have discussed a whole lot of weapons that were used in World War II, but today you are getting two for the price of one, and the reason for that is quite simple. It's because I suck with semi-automatic rifles, I'm not lying. In this video I will combine the reviews of the M1A1 and also the German Gewehr 43. First up, the M1 Carabine variant, M1A1. This was a lightweight, easy to use, 30 caliber carabine that was a standard firearm for the US military during World War II, the Korean War and the Vietnam War. Many variants came from the original M1, such as the M1A3, the M2, the M3 and also the M2A2. Three men designed the M1 between 1938 and 1941. Fred Humston, Will Rumor and David Marshall Williams. The unit cost was as low as $45, very cheap to make, so it's not a surprise that more than 6 million units were made. Between November 1941 and August 1945, they were made for the US military. But after that, it turned commercial, for police, paramilitary and civilian use. The upgrade that the M2 and M3 carabines had was selective fire, the capability to adjust to full auto firing mode or burst mode. The M1 carabine was also used in the Cuban Revolution between July 26th of 1953 and January 1st of 1959 where Batista's government was overthrown and replaced by a communist government led by Fidel Castro who had commanded the 26th of July movement alongside Che Guevara. Of course they were supported by the Soviet Union, so Cuba's relation with USA turned cold. A very comparable German rifle was the Gewehr 43, also known as the Karabiner 43, Kar 43, K43 and G43. It was in service for only two years from 1943 until 1945 and designed by Walter. A little over 400,000 were produced and the effective firing range was 500 meters, 800 meters if you equipped a scope on it. So the Gewehr 43 was one of the only guns that was used exclusively in World War II and never again after that. The designer Walter was a short name for Karl Walter Sportwaffen Company, founded in 1886 already by Karl Walter. The company also produced air guns and later sporting goods from their two headquarters in Ulm and Arnsberg. Later, Walter also started a business unit in the United States called Walter Arms Inc. based in Fort Smith in Arkansas, the second largest city of Arkansas. The actual design of the Gewehr 43 was based on the earlier G41 but incorporated an improved short-stroke piston gas system similar to that of the Soviet Tokarev SVT-40 and it incorporated innovative mass production techniques. The only scope that worked for the Karabiner 43 was the ZF-4 4-power telescopic sight. After the war, strange variants were found, but all of them have been proven to be the work of amateur gunsmiths. See you on the next one guys. Peace.